Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I've got a dog in my hands. Roger's got a dog. Will you think of a name for the baby? I will. Hubert. Nice, dude. H U B. Oh. Hello. Yeah? No, it's actually just gonna be Hubert. Hubert? So U B R T. Yeah. I like that. That's it's pretty, pretty cool. cold now. We're, weather's gonna be snow tomorrow. It's gonna That's snow crazy, tomorrow. Dude. That's nice. We're getting towards the end of the year. Remember, it's getting pretty cold. Remember when I got that, that horse all you remember, done? You remember how that was, strong? That was a good time. Remember how strong you were? Oh. Was there something there? No, there wasn't anything. Those there. are just birds. The birds fly away. The uh I wanna get away. I wanna fly away. Are you gonna sell a chicken? Oh yeah. Nice. You know I am. Oh yeah. You know. Oh you know me. yeah. Still the same old G. Are you? No. Oh. I'm vastly different. I've than changed I was in my youth. I've changed. Yeah. I feel like I am too. I mean, I think I enjoy a lot of the same things that I did when I was growing up. But yeah. I definitely think I've changed a lot since I was a kid. <laughs> I've gotten a lot more uh, grisly. I have gotten quite a bit more grisly. Uh huh. The uh. That's true. <laughs> You've seen, you've seen things, man. Seen some shit. Ow. Seen some Jesus. stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> Three out of four doctors wouldn't recommend what Jeff... That's true. <laughs> Jeff's life experiences. It's four out of four, I think. Four out of four. Yeah, well, I mean, the, you gotta... You gotta always have that one dissenter, yeah, right? You gotta, you gotta have that one doctor who's like, you yeah. know what? You know what? I don't fucking recommend yeah. Trident. It's, you know what? It's... Uh, fuck you. No, I'm not... Are we my getting paid for this? My, yeah, my <laughs> colleagues are, are, are being bought out. And the I one percent? And I have none of it. The twenty percent. The Trident. I, I am the twenty percent. <laughs> I am the twenty percent. Yeah. The <laughs> all the millionaires and the billionaires chew the Trident gum, yeah. and they feel like they're helping, but they are not. They are not. Nobody who chews Trident is helping. Did you, you ever? Do you do you chew gum? Do I chew gum sometimes? Yeah. I got. I uh, I worked at a, a pop up shop for my work in Facebook. Oh, in the in the Facebook yeah, in the Facebook I, corporate offices here in uh, in, Seattle. in Seattle, and I, I they had complimentary gum, so I took a pack and then I started chewing it. I didn't, I, you know, I don't really like gum though. I'm yeah, more of a mint free. guy. Yeah, it's, it's, free it's free gum, so it's free gum. That's how can't say no. Yeah, it's uh. Did, well, what else did they have? Didn't they have free ding dongs? They had free ding dongs, free mouthwash, free iced tea, dude. Free you gotta pizza, need you gotta need free mouthwash. All the all, all the good free, stuff. Free ding dongs. Yeah, free ding dongs, man. It was good. That's crazy, dude. Free Doritos. Some of those some of those corporations and their and their perks. Well, they just make so much money that it's uh, they have free haircuts there. Really? They have haircuts there, yeah. So you literally don't have to do anything at all to, as a human being. You uh, don't you, have to you be. You can sleep. You don't have to be an adult human being, though. You can just they they take care of everything for you. Yeah, I mean they have food, they have everything there. So yeah. they basically pander to you until you become a child again. Uh, well, I mean you're still doing like programming work and stuff. I'm assuming. Yeah. And, like a lot of engineers work there. Like. Uh, I I felt like you know I kind of want to be one of those people who work there. Part of me, those, part of me wants to. One of to. those, one of those uh, corporate people. Yeah, like part of me is like that. Seems like it would be really nice to be like. I mean, it would know. definitely help with like the having money thing. Yeah, and it also uh, look at that big old milk. Mm hmm. But I don't know. I don't this know. If I, could, I don't know if I could do it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do well there. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, how well I would do on, like, a, a permanent basis. It was interesting to me that a lot of people who work there don't know a lot about Seattle on the whole. Because they're just kind of in their own little bubble They just there. live in their bubble, yeah. yeah. They live in their Amazon bubble, or their, I mean, I guess their mm -hmm. Facebook bubble. Yeah. <laughs> You're automatically going to Amazon town. I do. Yeah. Especially here. The, uh, oh. Oh, that, you need to milk that one. I don't think you, you I quite... Will. That one hasn't been milked yet. I think it. There, there we you go. go. Boom. Boom, oh, boom. Why are shake you over the, there? Shake the room. Why? Maybe it's pregnant. No, it's not. No, it's just r Roman. Yeah. I, I, I'm i happy with this winter of cows. The winter. The, the winter of cows. The w winter milk uh, expedition. E extravaganza. Mm -hmm. The uh, I feel like it's been very fortuitous. Yeah, dude. We've been making. How much money you got now? Uh, Wednesday. Quite a bit, I think. I'm charged. Seven thousand. Seventy-eight sixty, dude. Yeah, that's well, pretty fucking decent. We and we also bought cows and that kind of stuff in yeah. making more of a 
you know, a, a milk empire. An empire, yeah. Mm-hmm. Truth. My empire of milk. <laughs> I will pour you out. Yeah, I, I've I. Uh, I will make. I you thought about I thought about working for like a big company doing that kind of stuff. Look at that but snow. I just uh, look at that snow. I don't know. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would like myself. Part of me thinks that <laughs> I would really enjoy myself. Yeah. Uh, because it's kind of like when I'm at work, I'm at work, and I can just zone out and not do anything, and then just like kind of be like part of the thing, and then have like this outside job where like I can really focus on that and that's fine but at the same time it's probably what I'm doing now you know yeah. it's probably the same like level of extremism I don't yeah. know I mean it's not that my job is that strenuous or extreme it's just kind of like I have you have stuff you gotta get done yeah I have stuff I gotta get done and then I have like I have I do have an outside life which is kind of nice um, yeah to where my job is like not you, the entire That's another thing, life. dude. That's another thing. Like I can't I can't function when like my job is like the the, the cornerstone the of my entire thing. life. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, just it's like just miserable. I don't I don't thrive in that way. I definitely thrive when I have something that I enjoy, but also like have time outside of that job yeah. to like live the to, rest of my flourish, life. Yeah. You know? And I just don't think that like in a place like Facebook or Amazon, I don't think I would get that. I don't think I'd ever have to. Yeah. I'd never have to fucking know. leave. Yeah. You know, there's like, I'd never have to do anything or go anywhere. I would just have everything there. Which I think is uh, one of the like. I guess I just don't like being spoon fed stuff because then I know what happens to me. Yeah. As a person, I totally get that. I get fucking lazy. Oh, I got it. And nice. that's no good. That's why I don't think that I would thrive there. Yeah, work for it. Yeah, kind of. Come on. Yeah, no, I get it. I get that completely. I uh, I do want to like uh, they have really good food there though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, that's the thing is like, like I know that there are perks and I know yeah, that it's probably it's, great it's, for the uh, people who work there. It's, it's but also it's I wouldn't want to go through all the bullshit to get hired by a place like that either. The uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that it's like <sighs> that one. I think you part of me is like no, of course not. And then the other part of me is like, did I already do this? You one? already did that one. Yeah, you just get the two more. All right. Well, three more, right? Uh, yeah, you have to brush and talk to three, to boba, but just yeah. but just milk two more. Did I to that one, dude. Cool it. I think so, but I'll do it one more time. Yeah, but buh. you looking good today? You did. Hey, you did talk to Bu. All right, meow. She's all over the map right now, Mimsy. She's doing. She like, is. She's been. She's doing a uh, circle eight on your was yeah. a figure eight on your lap there, yeah. trying to demand attention. Now I just have her pinned she's down like, with uh, my arm. Yeah. And she seems to be happy and content with that. <laughs> that makes no sense. What a silly cat. Yeah. First she's acting up in the litter box. And here she is now. Demanding attention. I will say, it would it would be nice to have this, like, whole city cater to you, though. That's what I mean. Yeah. You know, like, that's what's kind of shit. Well, or I mean, like, most of it. The part that's paid off by your yeah. company yeah. catered it, to you, you know, <laughs> which is like a giant portion. How of convenient city. is this? Yeah, that all yeah. this stuff is built just for you. you yeah, know? right. This whole city—it's my oyster. It's all for you, you. But you, I get that a lot. I get, I get, I honestly you, get a lot of people you, in you. in my place of work because I work retail mm-hmm. downtown. Yeah, magic shop, and like working retail in a city where. A lot of the people who work here are like tech people who get everything handed to them at work. It just bleeds over oh, that's into that's their. Like... I think so. It bleeds over into how they treat people. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, oh, it totally. Like does. I get people who come in and they just sort of demand to be. You know, they demand the secrets to the magic tricks, or they just sort of talk to me as though I'm supposed to just give them whatever they want. Part you know of me what I mean? was hoping and that I, you would. You were going to say secrets of the universe. Secrets of the universe. They demand secrets of the yeah. universe from me. <laughs> but I don't have. Luckily, we're not corporate at all, and I yeah. can just say "fuck you." Yeah. Like no. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy what it does to people, man. When you're like, because you can just walk into the like if you were at Facebook and you walk into their cafeteria, you can just go grab whatever you want, right? Yeah. It's just free. Yeah. You just go grab whatever you want. Yeah. You can eat as much as you want. Yeah. You can drink as much as you want. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They don't even keep tabs. Yeah. 
Like no, they don't they, they don't, don't take note. They don't do anything. It's just like free for all, for whatever you want. And when you have that enough, it like you revert yeah, back into a child, dude. Through. Like yeah. it really does. It like it changes the way that they treat people Did outside of their of their work. There you go. Which is crazy. You know? Yeah, it, it is kind of a, just a, having everything given to you. What does that yeah, do to your social structure? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I think that if you're... Everything. And they also are boring people. I, I, I mean, for the most part, the people that I've met and talked to that work in those jobs, they're kind of boring because they don't really know what to talk about. They don't really talk about anything but what they do for themselves. And maybe that's just because I've met boring people in those fields. I know that there are plenty of people in the tech industry that are not boring people. Yeah. But of the people that I've met who work here, uh, that seems to be quite a few, you know? I just think that probably the people that you don't know, like the people who you find interesting here, are people who you don't say that they've worked, they work yeah, in it's the true. Yeah. industry. Yeah, true, yeah. Even though they do, yeah. you know? I, uh, yeah, the people, the, the, exactly, the tech people that I know that I think are cool yeah. don't ever talk about their jobs. Yeah. Like, they don't ever, you know... It's not about the fact that they work at that place. It's, you know, it's a, it's different. It's just different. Yeah. I think that... Uh, it's become it's, a very soapboxy episode of Harvest Moon. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I just wanted to talk about gum. No, I know. <laughs> I know. No, I, I don't... I mean, I think, it's, I think it's fun. I think uh, it's it's an interesting thing. I don't, I don't think that all of the... I think that I have more of a problem less with the... The people you now. Did the chickens, yeah. You than, did the chickens. Yeah, I did the chickens. We can make sure though. Yeah. Uh, I have less of a problem with like individual the, people. The individual people, even though they do kind of get on my nerves with the privilege and that kind of stuff, yeah. and the fact that they don't just ad- like they don't realize privilege right like, when they have it. Um, I think that it's mainly the 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 infrastructure and the kind well, it's of it's like, like a culture. It's very broy. It's very like for me, it's, it's very like frat house bro culture where they like don't have to go anywhere and they all just are friends with each other. It's it's kind of a, it's becoming like we're becoming like the Detroit of the tech industry for like automobiles. Where it's like yeah. a very affordable job. It's very good at what they are doing, um, but once it crumbles, like once another there's something else takes left. up yeah. like what there's going to be this vacant hole now that's if it does indeed burst so right. who knows if that's going to happen or not attack, well, yeah. yeah um somehow kind of i feel like there there has to be you know there has to be some type of decline and what happens when that happens right nothing you know? lasts nothing lasts forever yeah. yeah and what happens to the city when it's yeah. Building itself around these yeah. industries. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. And what, what's what's going to happen with it afterwards? I think yeah. that it's just kind of like like, a, like Amazon got an entire fucking train put in. Yeah. just for them. Yeah, the South Lake Union trolley just to, to feed to the to the five forty five to and, go over to Redmond and Bellevue. And, and it's kind of literally stuff. just yeah, it's like two people are on it at any given time. Like what well, a fucking what a great place to spend your money, city of Seattle. There, on you know, when there a are train a that holds two people yeah. at a time. They're on it a lot when it's uh, five o'clock at night. When it's business hours, yeah. yeah. When it's closing time, yeah. When when people are going home, they're going to the to Redmond or Bellevue or that. But that's kind of but that's an example water. of like a major city thing that was planned specifically around a single group. Oh, yeah, no. Or you're, a single company or a single industry. To the, to the choir. You know, almost. oh, I'm, well, I'm talking yeah. to them. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm talking yeah. to people who are listening. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it's so crazy. It's just it's just nuts what happens. Because that's where the money is, and that's where the city wants. Well, yeah, and that's where, where the, oh, no. Closed today. Got to feed your chickie. All right. What day is it? Is it a it's Saturday? It's Saturday, I'm weekend? assuming. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday. What actual day is it? 28th, 28th of winter. We're getting close. We are getting really close. Do you want to finish it out this episode, or do you want to... I think that after after I uh, after put today, this you little call it? by, yeah, we'll call it an episode. Cool, dude. And then we might wrap it up next time. Yeah, we'll wrap it up the, the following episode, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, for those of you who didn't remember or are just joining us... Or if we haven't told you. Or if I, we haven't told... No, we've, so we've mentioned it. Uh, once we finish this year of, of Harvest Moon, we're going to put a give give this game a rest. 
Yeah, we're for a little while, it. we're gonna play some. Uh, have we have we actually mentioned what we're playing no, after this? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Well, this will be it. We're gonna play some Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, dude, we're gonna play Pokemon Yellow. It's gonna be really fun. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's going to be the long. But that'll game. but that'll that'll be the long form let's play that we have going. And uh, yeah, I think this is a great place to end this episode. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time when we'll wrap up this year and we'll see what else is in store. Yeah, uh, let us know what you think about a uh, uh, kind of companies taking over cities and that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, and what you or think- even what you think about the tech industry and what what uh, what's happening in in business today, the tech bubble. Yeah, let us know. Let us We're know. interested. Let us we know. want to talk. I to really you. do. I really am interested in what you guys have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye. He looks like, like he's slamming his head against the table. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. It's like this conversation. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, people, people are just like, uh. Ugh, ugh. They've already been on their soapbox enough. <laughs> <laughs>